BASF recovery team. This past Memorial weekend, we were out on the trail. We had just gotten done doing a wench recovery when we got a call on the radio that there was a buggy that needed a tow out of the woods. So we headed that direction and we came across Thad in his wrecker going to recovery. So we ended up following him for a little while. Where you at? We're right past Raspberry, right at the exit there. If you want to come over here, we'll watch the Lewis pull somebody out. Ten more. After following Thad for a little while, we finally came across a shortcut where we could jump across the trail and head over to where the buggy was. We found the buggy and the driver sitting on the side of the trail waiting for us. Wheeling it out and all of a sudden my tire just went, I must have, must have blew it apart when it snapped and uh, broke the nuts or something back the bearings off. So what is it? Oh, it broke my... Uh, outer shaft. Okay. I don't know if it broke my spindle, but the uh, nuts backed off for the old bearing in place. So now my this whole hub fell off the spindle. Uh, the only thing that's holding it on is the brake in the bracket. So. Oh lordy. Yeah, it's all farther than I can make it. Oh lordy. Can you show me where it's at? Yeah, right here. Pull forward so I can get around. to stop and think a little bit about how we were going to hook the wrecker to the front of this buggy. You see, the way today's buggies are built with the axles and the tires sticking so far forward and virtually no bumper, it's kind of hard to hook a wrecker to them. So we had to think about it for a little bit. The other problem with the buggies is that the suspension droops so much that if you end up picking them up off the cage, you have them so high that they tend to get a little bit unstable when you're towing them through the woods. The best way I've found is to actually hook the sling right to the front axle. But in this case, I was a little bit concerned about his tie rod, and I was afraid that I might bend it if I did that. This is solid steel, yeah, this whole thing. He said his tie rod was a solid bar stock of steel, and he didn't think it would bend. So, we went ahead and put the sling right underneath his tie rod and the J-hooks back to the front axle and picked it up. And you know, he was right. It didn't bend. We were able to pick up the buggy and we were ready to head out of the woods. tried getting it back out this way and I don't know if it busted the spindle and blew my nuts apart and backed the bearings off or what but oh. she started locking up on me. And... Okay. Before we headed out of the woods we had to ask him why he called his buggy donkey. Well he replied I kind of had to because my nickname is Shrek. We agreed that was the only name he could give his buggy. On the way out of the woods with the buggy in tow, we caught up to Thad, who was towing that blue Chevy pickup. So, seat cover ran ahead to get you some footage of both wreckers coming through the trail.
heading out of the woods was kind of slow going. You see, we were still a little concerned about bending or breaking that tie rod, and we also wanted to make sure that we kept that left front tire in the air. If that left front tire were to hit the ground and try and turn, it might break some more parts. any further problems. Hey, look at that. All the other wreckers are here at the trail shack. Maybe that means we can take a break after we drop him in camp and actually have some lunch. When we got to the campground, we backed him into a nice spot right beside his camper, where he could work on fixing his donkey. Yeah, you're good, bring me straight back now. Thanks for watching BSF Recovery Team. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share my videos if you like, and if you want your own BSF Recovery Team t-shirt, check out the BSF Recovery Team store. You can find a link to the store on my channel page, or you can follow the BSF Recovery Team on Facebook. Keep wheeling, stay safe, and maybe we'll see you out there in the woods.